Clams are a member of the phylum Mollusca. They can be recognized for their smooth, round, bilaterally symmetrical shell with one point called the umbro, where they are hinged at. Clams are simple animals, so they do not display segmentation. They can be found in both fresh and saltwater habitats and use their foot to pull or bury themselves. Otherwise, they ride the water currents to get around. Clams reproduce by releasing their gametes into the water to become fertilized. The cells of the egg divide and eventually reach the morula stage, where they form a ball that then develops into a trochophore. The trochophore is the first larval stage the clam will go through. Here the morula becomes ciliated and now can move on its own. Next will be the villager stage, which is divided into two sub-stages, consisting of the umbiate, where the shell develops fully, and the pedivillager, when the foot of the clam is fully functional. In their juvenile stage, they look like an adult but are not yet sexually mature. Clams are triploblastic. This means that clams develop all three tissue layers, the endoderm, the ectoderm, and the mesoderm. They are also coleomates because within them they contain two cavities. One of these cavities is the pericardial cavity. It is a sac surrounding the clam's porous heart where blood pools inside to then seep into the heart. The other is called the coelom, which is known as the body cavity as it holds the organs. Clams are filter feeders. This means that as the clam siphons water inwards for food and oxygen, food particles composed mostly of microorganisms such as phytoplankton are brought in and get trapped in the gills mucus. Once stuck, the cilia found on the gills guide the food particles to the labial palps that then places the food into the clam's mouth and the water is pushed out through the other siphon. The foot of a clam can also push food towards the mouth. The digestive system of a clam is very similar to that of a human. Food enters the mouth of the clam through structures called labial palps. Once in the mouth, the food enters the clam's digestive tract. Here it passes through the esophagus into the stomach that releases digestive enzymes into the food. Next, the particles enter the intestine where the enzymes break the food down into molecules small enough that it can be transported into the lining. Once in the lining, the molecules enter the blood and are sent to the cells. The clam has an open circulatory system, meaning that the blood pools around the heart and results in less pressure in the pumping of the blood and that blood is not also contained within the heart or blood vessels. Also, the blood is mixed with other liquid due to not being contained and is known as hemolymph. Instead of being contained, the blood drains into sinuses to reach tissue cells and goes directly into organs by collecting in the body cavity. This can be seen in the image that blood drains the hemocele, which is the body cavity, and the sinuses. Clams use gas exchange to get oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide as well as other non-useful chemicals. They achieve this by using their gills to gather oxygen from the water which the blood picks up when passing through the oxygenated tissues to then be pumped through the clam. Carbon dioxide is then carried back to the gills and transferred to the water as it passes over the gills. Excretion is a similar process where the continuous water flow picks up waste that is stored in the pericardial cavity and pushes it out the anus that is near the excurrent siphon. As well as other Clams have three sets of clustered nerve cells connected by nerve fibers called ganglia in place of a brain. These three clusters account for cerebral, pedal, and visceral functions, while nerve fibers are connected to sensory cells that can sense touch, light, and chemicals at distinct areas of the clam. Here we can see a diagram of a clam's anatomy versus a dissection of a real clam, which includes all real internal organs.